what's up guys? My name is Tyr from Your MTG, and uh, you may or may not have noticed but some huge announcements have just been made. Eight new uh, sets and or products um, have been announced and uh, they are included in Wizards new kind of deal where they uh, have two announcement dates per year and they announce pretty much um, everything for the rest of the year or the upcoming um, year. So one in spring and one in autumn and you'll get to know everything that's coming out. So you, you probably have seen some of these uh, things. I am super stoked about them personally. So in this video I'm just gonna brief you on what has been uh, going on and I'll make a separate video in which I'll talk about the new uh, overhauls to the fat pack uh, which is no longer called the fat pack and also the new product that's replacing the intro packs. So let's get started. All right, starting off, uh, we have probably the biggest news, and that is the name and the theme for the upcoming block. Um, the new plane we're going to is called Kaladesh. We've seen some of it in Magic Origins, and everybody loved it. It looked absolutely amazing. Its theme was uh, constructs and artifacts. It was a steampunk world um, in which uh, Chandra was born, uh, our planeswalker. And we got cards such as her parents and uh, uh, the lieutenant who uh, um, did bad things. Um, you'll have to read the story for yourself, I don't want to spoil anything, but we're going to this plane um, that is steampunk themed and has lots of artifacts and things and I am super super stoked about that. Um, the intro deck, uh, which was themed, the color dish themed in Magic Origins was one of the funniest um, pre-made decks I've ever played and uh, the, the card P and Kira Nalar amazing and she's playing several formats and I'm just super stoked about this. It is coming out uh, 30th of September 2016 so this autumn followed by the second set called A the Revolt uh, coming out in uh, January the second I think so right in the middle of winter. Uh, so these are huge and exciting news. Um, we have been uh, returning to two planes in a row now with Sandicar and then Innistrad, but now we're actually visiting uh, a new uh, place. We also have a new planeswalker uh, when we get to Kaladesh and I'll put the name and a picture right over there so you can check that out. It's always nice with new planeswalkers and uh, this one looks to be uh, uh, Iset colored, which is one of my favorite colors of magic of all time and uh, I'm just super stoked about this. So the first set of the block, Kaladesh, will have 264 cards and it will be the big set and the uh, smaller, Aether Vault, will have 165, I think. Um, so that'll be a smaller set in the new two block structure. Moving on, we have our next announcement and I know this has people, many people extremely excited and it's the uh, 2016 Commander product. This time featuring new four color decks, guys. Four color decks. We haven't seen these uh, things in forever. Only available now is the Nephilims. There are only four colored cards uh, in Magic. And uh, now we'll get five new, uh, probably amazing four colored commanders. Uh, I'm totally getting the Your one. Just saying. That's a color combination if you didn't know the origins of our name. Um, but that, that has people extremely excited. It will come out in November 11th and uh, it will just be super sweet. It will have uh, 56 new cards, never before seen. Uh, legal in Vintage, Legacy and Commander, but not in Modern or Standard. Uh, so this has me super excited. I am stoked to pick up one of these new uh, Commander decks, which is four colored. Something players have been asking for for many, many years. So that's super sweet. Next up, we have something extremely exciting as well. Uh, maybe you have heard of uh, the format Plane Chase, um, a format invented by Wizards of the Coast um, and was released as a product line in 2009 and 2012. So these decks have a very special twist on Magic in which you travel to different planes and places on these planes um, that have several uh, abilities. Um, so those are basically new game rules. Maybe all creatures get a buff, for example, plus one plus one. So that is just a new game rule that you have to adapt to. Um, so, uh, if you remember, we had the dual deck anthologies uh, that came out uh, last year, and now we'll have the plane chase anthology, and um, 
it'll be $145 MSRP and have um, all uh, different plain cards which are extremely hard to acquire 86 of them so that's super sweet this will be a huge product and just so you know $145 that sounds much but right now just like every plain chase deck is about 60 bucks so that's like two and a half plain chase decks and you get like all of the playing cards and so many decks which is just absolutely fantastic i'm super stoked about this product so that's another great thing it's also coming out late november um and i really hope to get my hands on one because plain chase is a super fun format it's pretty niche uh pretty unknown right now but it's just super super fun if you haven't played it you should go check it out and you know just consider um, purchasing a deck or two and just play with some friends because it's, it is super fun. And after hearing all of this, can you even imagine there's even more news? We also have a new dual deck announced. Uh, dual deck Nissa vs Obnixilis coming out uh, the 2nd of September. Uh, and that is the new Seneca themed dual deck. And we don't know much about it, but it's awesome seeing... Uh, uh, we know we will get the reprints of Obnixilis Reignited and the Nissa Voice of Seneca to heavily play the Planeswalkers right now and uh, hopefully that will keep the price down until then and after that as well. So that's super sweet, getting standard a lot cheaper and they could, it seems cool. I'm, I'm stoked to see what kind of um, um, deck that is. So uh, we have that announcement and uh, finally we, uh, let me look at my little notes here. Uh, we have a new uh, product for Conspiracy Take the Crown which is the new Conspiracy 2 set. Um, coming out in August, so we just have set after set like each month. One in uh, June with Eternal Masters, one in July with uh, Eldritch Moon, one in August um, <laughs> with Conspiracy and then one in September with Kaladesh. So it's just something going on every month this summer and uh, you know my wallet will hurt but um, it's super exciting seeing new cards and you know all kinds of magic related things going on. But uh, this product is um, a draft pack which it can be found at um, your like local Walmart, Walmart Target. We don't have these um, things over in Sweden so that won't affect me much but um, I know that uh, Conspiracy was only previously available in uh, the game stores but now you can actually just pick up for 12 bucks a draft pack and just uh, go to town draft because as you may or may not know Conspiracy Take the Crown is a set designed for drafting in purpose. Um, so with, with the purpose in mind, you can actually just pick up three packs, which is what you need for drafting, and just um, go draft with some friends. So that's always nice. Um, availability. That's sweet. We also have uh, two other new products. Uh, first up, we have the new Fat Pack, which is no longer called the Fat Pack. It's called a Bundle. A set name, Bundle. So Fat Pack was like... Um, a, wasn't really a good description of what it would contain. Uh, like Fat Pack... In, kind of doesn't make sense, but they have been going on with that for like 10 plus years now. Um, but now uh, it will be called, starting with Kaladesh, the Kaladesh Bundle. And what's new with the fat packs? Well, not much really. Uh, they have removed the tiny cardboard deck boxes, since nobody used those, and uh, upped the MSRP uh, with $3, I think, and also included a 10th booster. So what you, uh, you'll get now is um, a box, a spin down die, 80 pack of lands, a rules reference card, a player's guide, a little poster, uh, and 10 booster packs. Which is, I mean, it's, it's a step in the right direction, but it's not exactly what I want. And that, for that, you need to watch my other video, in which I'll discuss um, the new, uh, what, what I think they should do with the fat packs. But the other product is even cooler. It is replacing the intro packs and it's called the uh, Planeswalker deck. And with every new set release, they release two uh, new decks, uh, which can which are balanced against each other. But um, uh, they're also not like dual decks because these decks feature cards from standard and are standard legal. Everything is standard legal. Each deck um, will have five new cards uh, in them which is pretty exciting. Uh, one of them being the Planeswalker card. It is not a reprint, it is a Planeswalker card. And what they have done is made these Planeswalkers more... Um, more goofy. 
more expensive, have bit larger impact, and not um, direct standard staples. So established players won't um, feel the need to go out and buy this product. This will be focused on more fun, casual play, which I think is a great thing. And you know, seeing uh, just more planeswalkers is always cool. Um, we all love the the planeswalkers and our favorite characters and everything. And um, it also contain like um, two uh, rares. Of the same, two of the same rare, which will uh, fetch for the Planeswalker card. So uh, the Planeswalker actually has a more impact on the game. So you basically have three Planeswalkers, in a way. Uh, also an uncommon, uh, new uncommon, and uh, a new common. So, pretty cool. Uh, there will be three of the uncommon and four of the common. It will all be centered around uh, this Planeswalker um, that is charging your deck. So maybe for Kaladesh, we, we pretty much know we have Chandra, um, but we don't know exactly what other Planeswalker. Could be the new Kaladesh Planeswalker, which is extremely exciting that too. Um, but I'm stoked for this product. I mean, I can't wait to check it out. I, intro packs are not a great thing, but these seem really good. And uh, of course, we also get two boosters with them, uh, same as with the intro pack. So that is just a win-win for me. Same MSRP, you get the two boosters, but instead of the uh, the crappy rare, foil rare, you actually get a cool Planeswalker, a new card, and some new cards, and it's all standard legal still. Which I think is a great job, boys, why wizards, I am stoked for this product. It's starting with Kaladesh, and uh, yeah, I absolutely love this. So, that was it for uh, all of the news of today. Be sure to check out my other videos. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about all of these new changes because there are tons of things to discuss. So I'm stoked about all of these announcements. And uh, yeah, if you are too, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Goodbye.